Hello. All right, this is going to be the video for the Unit 5 test. It's going to have all the questions and the instructions on how to solve as well as the answers. So please take notes and after you have watched this video, take the retake. It's in modules, it's unit five retake. Okay, so let me go ahead and share my screen and we will get this party started. All right, so the first question, a movie theater marks up the price of popcorn 12 and 3 fourth times the original cost. So we already know it's going to be more than 100% because it's 12. Express 12 and 3 fourths as a percent and decimal. So remember 12 and 3 fourths, that means I have $12 and, and 3 fourths is 75 cents. That is your decimal. Process of elimination. Let's cross off any answer choices that does not have 12.75, 12 and 75 hundredths as a answer choice. So B does not, um, C does not. So it's either A or D. Now remember what I said, percent is out of 100. So if you have 100%, that's $1. It's one whole, but remember we have $12. So our percent is going to be greater than 100. So if we look at A, A is 1,275%. D is 12 cents percent, which doesn't make any sense. So quite naturally, if you understand percents, you know the answer is A. But if you wanna just know the basic rule, to convert a decimal percent, you move the decimal, two places to the right, or some students multiply by 100, which is the same thing, and you're gonna get 1,275%. So your answer choice is A. So you guys should have selected A for that one. All right, next, a local store is selling six bottles of glue for $3.78. Which scale factor could be used to calculate the cost of glue of 42 bottles of glue. So you're not solving, you're just looking for the scale factor. So write your formula out so you know what you're comparing and then you'll find the scale factor. So we are comparing uh, bottles of glue, I'm just gonna put B to money. And we have B to money, B to money. And we have six bottles of glue for $3.78. And the question is asking us to find the cost, so we don't know that, of 42 bottles of glue. So all we're looking for is the scale factor. So what number do we multiply by six to get 42? And your answer is seven. So you multiply seven, your answer is gonna be G. All right, so that's just scale factor, don't solve. Just set up your ratios, what you're comparing, and then you'll be able to uh, find the scale factor. Next, convert 14.75 kilometers to centimeters. So once again, if you have uh, your star chart, you're gonna look at your star chart, and if it's the metric system, then remember, all you're doing is counting zeros. So on the star chart, kilometers is on one line with meters, and there are three zeros on that line, because it's one kilometer equals, one kilometer equals a thousand meters. Okay, the next line is one meter equals 100 centimeters. So we're comparing kilometers to centimeters. So you have to count the zeros on this first row, which there are three zeros, and you have to count the zeros on the second row, which are two. So there's a total of five zeros on both rows. So what that means is for your, your number, one, four, seven, five, or one, 14.75, you have to move your decimal five places to the right because there are five zeros. Five places to the right because there are five zeros. One, two, three, four, five. And you put zeros in those spaces with no numbers. And then your answer choice is 
1,475,000, which is A. Okay, so make sure you look at what you're comparing and you see if it's on the same row, count the zeros in that row. If it's on a different row, count the zeros in each row until you get to that unit. Now, if you're doing the customary side, because this is only for metric, then you write your formulas out, what you're comparing, all right, and follow the cheat sheet. Next, Anna has saved $37 of her allowance. She needs $50 to register for a skateboard event this summer. Express the fraction. So it's already telling you that you're gonna make a fraction, part over whole of the registration fee. So we already know that we're gonna make a fraction of the registration fee. So the registration fee is $50, all right? And the part that we have is 37. So she has $37 out of $50 for the registration fee. That's a fraction, but it's telling you to express it as a decimal for your answer. So remember, you are just gonna convert F to D. So there's uh, three ways to do that. One way is to divide. Another way is to scale to 10 or 100. And when you divide, you could try to simplify first. So I'll put that as an option um, for those of you that like the smaller numbers to simplify. So if you simplify, you have to find a number that you can divide into 37 and 50, all right? But I'm not gonna do that. I, if I can, I like to scale to 10 or 100. So I'm gonna put a 100 here just to see if I'm able to scale the 50 to 100. 50 times uh, two is 100. So what you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. 37 times two is, 74 all right so now I have 74 hundreds and the way you write it is the way you say it 74 hundreds and that would be your answer so Anna has saved 74 hundreds of the amount of money that she needs to purchase uh, or to go to the skateboard event okay Next, there are 90 dogs and 150 cats at an animal shelter. Of these animals, nine dogs out of the 90 dogs, 27 cats out of the 150 cats receive medication daily. What percentage of the animals in the shelter receive medication daily? Remember, this is the easiest one, guys. When you see that word percentage in your formula, guess what? This section is already filled out, already filled out. Every time you see percent, then that third section of your formula, I need you to fill that out first, okay? And then you're gonna ask yourself, what is the question asking me? So focus on the question. What percent of the animals, that's all the animals, remember? Your bottom are your totals, okay? So what percent of the animals in the shelter receive medication daily? Well, let's do this. What's the total amount of animals? So we have to add 150 plus 90 in the whole shelter. So nine plus five, is that 14? Plus one, 240. So we have a total of 240 animals. So let's write that, total animals. Okay, so let's go ahead and write at the bottom, we are comparing something to total animals. Okay, let's see what it is. Back to our question, okay? What percentage of the animals in the shelter receive medication daily? So our top is gonna to be the animals that receive medication. So let's find out. I'm just gonna put meds over here just to save time and space. So here is gonna be the animals that receive medication. What's 27 plus nine is gonna be 36, okay? So this is how you solve that problem when you do your retake. You make sure you read the question. If it's percent, that 
The last section is already filled out, okay? The middle section is going to be the question. What are they asking you? The part, you need to figure out what are they asking you. And if you have to add the two numbers together, go ahead and add it to get your part. And then the bottom is going to be the total of whatever you're talking about. The bottom is always the total of whatever you're talking about, okay? And so all you're going to do here, it's cross multiply. So you're going to multiply 36 times 100, which is 36 plus two zeros. And then you're going to divide that by what, the whatever number is left. We've already used those. And the only numbers left is 240. And we're going to go ahead and divide that. Now remember, if you have a zero on the top and bottom, you can cross it out. So now you have 360 divided by 24. So once you divide that, you're going to get A, 15%. So 15% of the animals in the shelter receive medication daily. Okay. Now next, a school reporter surveyed a sample of sixth grade girls about their favorite Friday night activities. 65% or 39 girls, which is the same, selected going to the movies as their favorite activity. How many girls did the reporter survey? So let's go ahead and make our formula. Now remember percent is so easy. You already have the percent, so you can fill that out instantly. And it says 65% or, so one of my students, they said, Ms. Simmons, it's so much easier just to write the or there so that I know that 39 goes right there. So it's 39 or, 65% selected going to the movies as their favorite activity. How many girls? So in this one, we're looking for the total girls. The total girls that were surveyed. Okay, out of that total, 39 of them said they liked movies, okay, which is 65% of the girls. So as our wording over here, I want us to put total girls, of course, and the top, what girls? What are they doing? The 39 is what? It is the ones who chose movies as their favorite activity, okay? So once again, you are going to cross multiply. So 39 times 100. Some of you like to scale, but if it's not easy, if it's not beautiful numbers, don't scale it, okay? So it's 39 times 100 equals 3,900. And then once you multiply those two numbers, you divide by whatever number is left. And we've already used 39, we've already multiplied by 100. 65 is left, so you divide it by 65. And once you divide that, you're gonna get 60 girls. So there are 60 um, total girls. So out of the 60 total girls, 39 said movies is their favorite activity, okay? Next, Bailey surveyed a group of students to choose their favorite type of movie from the categories of action, comedy, and animated. The results of the survey are shown in the graph. So comedy, 30. Action, bless you, 50. And animated is 20, okay? First thing I need for you guys to do is find the total. So add that, 30 plus 50 is 80, 80 plus 20 is 100. So 100 students is the total. Okay, now I need you to read the question so you can figure out what your part is gonna be. Based on the graph, how many students will be expected to choose animated or action as your favorite type of movie? So my total is 100, but the part, it's going to be 70 because we're only looking at action and animated, okay? So your total is your whole. We already know that. So let's go ahead and create that ratio. So it's going to be 100. Out of the 100, 70 would pick action and animated. But that's only out of 100 students because the graph is showing us that there was only 100 students surveyed. So let's continue reading the question to find out what our other ratio is going to be. 
So how many students would be expected to choose animated or action as their favorite type of movie if there were 450 students? So not just 100, but if there was 450 students, how many would select action or animated? Okay, so you have two different ratios. The first ratio is only the information from the graph, okay? So look at the question and whatever two topics that they're talking about, you add them and that's your part. And your total is all of the graph numbers added together, okay? And it's gonna be equal to whatever number that they give you in the question, which in this case, the total was 450 students. And so that goes at the bottom and you're looking for the part. How many would there be if there was 450 students, okay? And from that point, you just cross multiply or some of you like to scale. So you have 70 times 450, okay? I don't know what that equals and I'm not doing that right now. Whatever that equals, you're gonna divide that by 100. Okay, and I know the answer. Oh, I do know what it equals. Okay, I'm sorry, I lied. Okay, equals 31500, so 31,500. And then now we're gonna divide that by whatever is numbers left in the ratio, and the number left is 100. So divide that by 100, and remember what I said with your zeros, cross off the zeros, but you can only cross off the same number on the top and the bottom. It has to be the same number, okay? So now we are left with 315 students. So we have 315 students with select action or animated out of the 450 students. All right. Next, the shaded area on the graph represents the part of a rectangular floor where tile has been installed. Each square in the grid has the same dimensions. What percentage of the floor has tile been installed? So this is just like the pizza or the pie, like when you were in elementary school and they said, okay, little Johnny, you've, ate, you've eaten three pieces of the pie out of how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Out of 19. So when you see these squares, I instantly need you to know, or this rectangle, I instantly need you to say, oh, this is just going to be like when I was in elementary school and I had to make a fraction. That's it. So what's the fraction going to be? Well, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six going down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten going across. Six times ten. Your total is going to be 60. So always count the total. Okay, that's your total. That's your whole. And then part is the number shaded, okay? The number shaded. So let's count the number shaded. So we know we have six going down, and then one, two, three, four, five. Five going across is 30, 31, 32, 33. So there's 33 shaded. So you ate 33 slices of pizza out of 60. So that's how you write these equations, okay? You make a fraction first, and now you're gonna convert the fraction to a percent. So you can do that. Remember our three ways we talked about? Right there. Fraction of decimal, you can do that first, and you can divide, scale, or simplify. Or some of you guys just like to divide it, okay? So let me show you how you can simplify it first to make it smaller. Uh, 33 divided by 3, and 60 divided by 3. So I can simplify, okay, so 33 divided by 3 is 11. 60 divided by 3 is 20. And then guess what I can do now to find the percent? I can scale. And I can scale 20 to 100, and 11 times 5 is 55. And anytime there's a number over 100, that's the percent. So 55 over 100 is 55%, okay? I messed up something here.
Hold on, you guys. I messed up something here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Oh, sorry. I don't know what I was thinking about. One, two, three, four. This should have only been four. So 24, 25, 26, 27. So this should have been 27, guys. Over 60. 27 over 60. And then 27 divided by 3 is 9. 60 divided by 3 is 20. And then you can still scale. 9 times 4 is 45. And then you have 45%. Sorry about that, guys. So 45%, okay? Now, another way I could have used just basic common sense, I could have split this in half. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> and then I would have known that it was going it couldn't have been G. So I could have crossed off G because that's more than 50%. And then which one is this close to 50%? Because honestly, it's almost half shaded. And 45 is the closest one to 50. So I could have also like used math common sense to figure it out, okay? All right, last one. Mrs. Vargas bought oranges, apples, and bananas to prepare fruit salad. Fruit salad, okay. She paid $2.40 for six apples. The price of each of the oranges was more expensive. So let's write oranges. More expensive than the price of each apple. So apple, I'm just gonna put app. Okay, and the price of each of the bananas was cheaper. So I'll put bananas. Then the price of each of the apples. Which of the following could have been the price for each of the oranges and the bananas that Mrs. Vargas bought? Vargas. The most important thing is for you to, whatever the number is in the problem and whatever fruit, vegetable item that they're talking about, you have to find the cost of one. So it's $2.46 for six apples. So in order to find the one, you have to divide. $2.40 divided by six. <clears throat> okay? So when you divide that, you know that six goes into 24. Four times. And then there's a zero. So it's going to be 40 cents. Okay? And you can actually divide it out if you want. But I like to use math common sense so that I don't have to do so much work. So that's why I did it that way. So one apple is 40 cents. So now we have to find which one of our answer choices is going to show that oranges are more than 40 cents, not the same. And which one is going to show us that bananas are less than 40 cents, okay? So let's do process of elimination. So A, does A show us that oranges are more than 40 cents? Nope. It shows us that they're equal, and that's not okay. B, oranges are more? Nope. It says 35 cents, and that is not more than 40 cents. C, oranges are 50 cents? Yes. Absolutely, because that's more than 40 cents. And D, oranges are 50 cents? Yeah, so it could be C or D. Now, bananas have to be less than 40 cents. So let's look at C, bananas or 10 cents. Oh, that's less, yep. What about D, bananas are 40 cents. No, that's the same, it has to be less. So then your answer choice should have been C, okay? All right, I think that's it. So good luck on the retake. Um, and as soon as you do it, I will upload your grade in Skyward. If you do better than you did on the um, actual Unit 5 test, then it will replace that grade, okay? All right, love you guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy holidays. Stay safe. Love you. Bye.